Hey everyone, it's Lane with Tim's Nation. I am here today to talk to you a little bit about the Blood Angels list I'm bringing today. Now, I know I've been playing Blood Angels several times on the channel here, but there are so many different things I want to try, so many different things I want to do with them. Um, it's just There's a lot of great stuff in the Space Marines Codex uh, that works really well with Liberator Assault Group, so I'm trying some more stuff. Now, Someone commented something uh, a couple weeks about about having one land raider, but two land raiders would be ridiculous. So today we do have two land raiders. I'm also testing out something I'm calling outrider jail because my outrider is going to put you in jail. And then the other thing in today's list is not one, not two, not three, but six space marine captains uh, in this list. But Lane, how can you have six Space Marine Captains? You should only be able to have three. Well, in Blood Angels, you can take Space Marine Captains and also Blood Angel Captains. Now, there's a third Blood Angel Captain, a Death Company specific one, but we have just Blood Angel Captains. And the Blood Angel Captain is the same thing as a Space Marine Captain. He has the same special rules, the, you know, the once per battle round free or uh, reduced cost strat on his unit. Uh, and then the other one is the plus three attacks once per game. Um, so a captain punching with plus three attacks is pretty strong. So, uh, you know what, if I put six of them in the list, uh, it's going to be fantastic. So I don't have six actual captain models equipped with the exact weapons and loadout I want to. So we're going to do a little bit of stuff here. that's not quite WYSIWYG, but three space Marine captains, three blood angel captains. The only difference between them is a few little war gear options that the blood angels captain have and blood angel captains cannot lead um blade guard i've got two three mans of blade guard in the list so uh the regular space marine captains will be leading the uh, blade guard and uh last week i enjoyed putting the, a whole bunch of stuff in the land raider of doom uh, if i'm gonna do something guys i'm gonna overdo it so let's do two Land Raiders of Doom. Let's take two Land Raider Crusaders and shove six captains inside of them and just see what happens when they all come spilling out. Uh, it's going to be a ton of attacks. Uh, <laughs> if I charge all those Space Marine captains out on the same turn and they all pop their plus three attacks on the same turn, it's going to be like a lot. Uh, it's 56 attacks from just the captains alone hitting on twos. The, some of the, the ones leading the blade guard have to have uh, the power sword, the master captain power sword. They can't have the power fist, but it's just going to be a ton of attacks coming out of the land raiders. So uh, I'm going to go through the list and then we'll talk about how I'm using things. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about the outriders and what my plans are for them, how I plan to use them uh, in in uh, the Blood Angels list, Liberator Assault Group here. Uh, but let's go through the actual list and then we'll get into some of the stuff, the ways I'm using them. All right, this is 2,000 points on the nose of Space Marines in the Blood Angel uh, Codex, the Liberator Assault Group Detachment. This detachment gives us plus two to strength and plus one attack when we charge. Also has some great strategies in here, including a uh, lance slash lethal hit strat, uh, fallback slash shoot and charge strat, um, a... Uh, Advanced and shoot and charge strat. We got a five up feel no pain to mortal strat. Some good strats in here. Good old armor contempt as well. But uh, the list itself, like I said, we've got seven characters today, six of which are captains. We have six uh, space marine captains, and we have, I'm sorry, three space marine captains and uh, three blood angel captains. Now, one captain, of course, with a power fist is going to have Rage-Fueled Warrior as the enhancement. That's the once per game three, uh, sustained three on his attacks. Um, that's going to be on a power fist one. Like I said, the Blood Angel captains cannot lead Blade Guard, so uh, I'm going to have two regular captains leading the Blade Guard squad. They'll have Mastercrafted Power Swords and the, the Relic Shields. The rest of them are all going to be equipped with Power Fist and... Um, I think uh, Inferno Pistols for the Blood Angels ones because they can take the Inferno Pistols. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the captains, I, I, I'm obviously not being able uh, going to be able to make use of the um, uh, the the once per battle round free strat for the, each of their units thing for all six of them because you only do with one model that has that rule per battle round. So it's a wasted, uh, you know, wasted value there. But the plus three attacks... It just is so strong when they take those power fists and go from strength eight to strength 10, add an extra attack, uh, have the opportunity of using some of the Blood Angels uh, 
stratagems when I'm using them. It just makes them so efficient. The fact that they're hitting on twos as well, uh, they're just bonkers. Uh, and I'm going to have four of these captains are going to be leading um, assault intercessors and then on foot, and then uh, two of them are going to be leading uh, blade guard. So we'll get to those here in a second. Um, and then we also have one additional character, because six characters is not enough. Uh, we have a chaplain on bike. And the chaplain uh, is going to have the enhancement speed of the Primarch that lets him fight first or use the fight first rule once uh, during the game. Uh, the chaplain, when he's leading outriders, he gives them plus one to wound in combat, just like any good chaplain does. And uh, he allows his unit to pick one enemy target in the shooting phase that's within 12 inches of him. And um, they get devastating wounds in their shooting attacks into that. And because all their bolters on their bikes are twin length, you can fish for some dev wounds there and get a few, uh, get a few sixes. Again, the captains, I, I don't have WYSIWYG captains. These are all captain models. A couple of them are Gravis captains, but don't worry about it. Uh, just trust me. Two of them have swords and shields, and four of them have power fists. Uh, and the three uh, Blood Angels ones have Inferno pistols. So moving on, as I said, we do have Battle Line. We have four Assault Intercessor squads, four or five man Assault Intercessor squads. The sergeant has a power fist and a plasma pistol. The rest are chain swords and bolt pistols. Um, cheap units at 75 points for five Marines. And the fact is that when they attack a target in combat, uh, they reroll once to wound. And if that enemy unit is on an objective, they reroll the whole wound roll. Of course, when captains are coming in with their extra attacks, uh, this is huge. It's a huge buff to their damage output when they can reroll once to wound and uh, even reroll the whole wound roll if the target's on an objective. So four of those guys. Uh, moving on, we have three five mans of Assault Intercessors, the Jump Packs. I think this is the first time I've had them on the channel here in Blood Angels. They are, of course, really good in Space Marines. Uh, their points went up a little bit. The man in Liberator Assault Group, when they're hitting with those chain swords at strength six with an extra attack, uh, they just do a lot more work picking up uh, skirmish units, picking up trash units, and, of course, their 12-inch move lets them... Um, you know, do objectives and secondaries really well, get onto objectives. And when they make a charge, they do impact mortals as well. That's always handy to have. Next, we have two three mans of Blade Guard veterans. I like these guys in Blood Angels, just uh, Liberator Assault Group, because they're, they're not that impressive in just regular Space Marine uh, detachments. But when they get the plus two to strength, they get really strong because their power swords are strength five, AP two, two damage, uh, which is just all right. But here, when they go to strength seven, it totally changes the math on how they're interacting with infantry and um, with the and then how they're interacting to tougher uh, targets too. Going from strength five to strength seven means they're wounding like as tough as twelve things on fives. And if you give them lance or put them with a, uh, a chaplain, getting that plus one to wound, they will be uh, much more efficient even to, to hard targets. So I love them. Their special rule is that in the fight phase, at the start of the fight phase, I choose for them to either reroll ones to hit in combat or reroll ones on their invuln save in combat. Uh, this again just gives you some extra efficiency because they don't really need the oath of moment target, especially when they're le uh, being led by a captain that hits on twos. Letting that captain reroll ones just makes him even better as well. Uh, next, we've got the Outriders. I am taking a six man squad of Outriders and an ATV. I got the ATV with the uh, the Gatling cannon on today. So. These are great. The reason I'm taking them is because they auto advance six inches. They have a 12 inch move, auto advance six, and Liberator Assault Group has a stratagem that allows you to advance and charge or advance and shoot. And you can do both of them if you just allow your unit to be battle shocked. So you can choose to do both those things and let them be battle shocked. Now, the Outriders are kind of durable because they are T5, just three up saves, but they do have four wounds apiece which really messes with the math a lot of times when people are attacking them. Uh, and then adding in that Outrider in there for 60 points, you get an eight wound ATV uh, added to the unit. That makes, again, it really messes with the math on how uh, durable they are. So when they're being led by a chaplain, they certainly have a lot of damage output. But turn one, I can just shoot these guys across the table. Uh, they're going to get uh, real close. I can advance and charge with them, so they'll move 18 and then charge, and I can really tie up my opponents and kind of block them from uh, moving, move block them, but also do some significant damage, uh, especially in this detachment. That is the list. No, wait, no, there's two land, or two land raiders. I forgot, the two land raiders of doom. 
Uh, don't let me forget these guys. They're very important. So we have two Land Raider Crusaders. Uh, one was great last week. Two will be even better. I can pack a whole lot of stuff into these guys. So, uh, yeah. I mean, there are special rules that they can move, and then the units can disembark and still charge, which means yeah, I'm going to move these guys into the middle of the table, and then it gives me a ton of flexibility with all the units that are going to be inside uh, for them to get out, and uh, they can either get out before the land raiders move or after the land raiders move it just gives me a tremendous board presence so two crusaders that's it that is the list so a little more about the outriders i'm just kind of going to go over what all the potential we have here with them so six outriders remember they are t5 four wounds apiece one atv attached on there he's t5 eight wounds and then we have the chaplain leading the unit. The chaplain has the enhancement speed of the Primarch, which means once per game, they fight first. So the idea is turn one, I put them all up on the front line. Uh, I go first, I can advance and shoot and charge, spend the CP to do that. Their shooting is pretty decent when they have the, the dev wounds going off because of the chaplain, but they can advance up the table and then move a flat 18 inches because they have flat advance six, uh, and then charge into combat there and get to punch it. Obviously, with uh, they have a bunch of chain sword attacks, so four attacks apiece. Uh, with the chaplain, um, they will get plus one to wound. In the Liberator Assault Group, they'll get plus two to their strength and plus one attack, meaning they're just going to do a ton of attacks. They're going to be wounding really well, thanks to both the plus two strength and the chaplain. So they're going to hit pretty hard, but then my opponent has to deal with the fact that there's this massive brick of, why oh, I see it, four wounds, piece 24, plus eight, 32, plus five, 37 wounds uh, of models on the table here, uh, right up in their face. And they can shoot them. Uh, again, uh, there are ways I can uh, either take wounds on an outrider bike or on the ATV so that uh, it takes longer to kill them than they want to. You know, three damage stuff. It takes two, three damage shots to pick up one bike, or it'll take three of those to go through and pick up one of the, the ATV. Um, and then they also add a bonus of having the enhancement on there, the fight first, meaning if my opponent wants to deal with them, they're going to have to shoot them because if they charge them, they're going to get to fight first and they'll still fight first pretty well considering, uh, the chaplain gives them plus one to wound in combat, uh, there. And then, uh, so uh, is just going to, the idea is they're not going to last a real long time, but turn one, they're going to zip up there and cause problems. Now, if DJ goes first with his uh, his world eaters and they're going to get a, a charge into me and get the advantage and hit me first, well, I still have the fight first enhancement on there. So I'm going to have him up all on the front line. If he wants to come and fight him first, he can, but I'm going to get the punch first uh, and I'll just do some damage before they disappear. And again, with just the sheer number of wounds in this brick, uh, it's going to take a while to chew through them. So it'll probably be pretty hard to pick them all up in one go. So that... That is the Outrider Jail. Uh, that's the idea is that they, they really move block my opponent and cause a major problem that they have to deal with, which allows the rest of my army to kind of stage up for the rest of the game, to get into position to score primary, secondaries, and get ready to do some killing. Now, like I said, last week, one Land Raider of Doom. This week, two Land Raiders of Doom. Two Crusaders packed full of hard-hitting Blood Angels units. Uh, not Blood Angels specific, just Space Marine units. So each Land Raider will have an identical loadout, essentially. They'll have two captains with uh, five-man assault intercessors, and then they'll have a captain with a three-man blade guard. 16 uh, transport capacity on a Crusader, that's six, six, and four, so that gives us 16. So, as I said, uh, with the Land Raiders, I can move them up into the middle of the table. I can even park them right next to each other. One of the problems you might have when you have uh, infantry in transports, obviously, is your opponent charges and swarms around the tank and pops it, you may lose a bunch of your infantry when they come out because they can't uh, disembark within an inch of enemy models. A bunch of them might die. Emergent dis you might have to emergency disembark. Well, if I move, move the two land raiders up together and have them next to each other, essentially so that my opponent can't move between them, it'd be much harder for them to wrap a land raider when they can't get around it. So uh, it also provides a defensive buff there as well. And again, just so many captains <laughs> with so many rerolls of wounds and so many extra attacks coming out of those tanks. 
and the flexibility of evil having them in the middle of the table and then moving the guys out, uh, moving and then charging in one direction, moving the land raider in another direction, and then guys can still get out and charge because the land raider's special ability just gives them a tremendous amount of flexibility. So that's that. And then we just have three squads, the, uh, you know, assault intercessors, the jump packs. They're going to be out there scoring, but when it's time for them to punch, they can still slap pretty hard. So uh, let's follow, follow me over to the battle report. Let's see how this list does today. Uh, I'm really interested to see how it performs. I don't think six captains is making it into my competitive list, but uh, there's definitely some ideas here I like. It might be a couple of them. We'll see. All right, follow me over there, guys. I'll catch you at the battle report.